Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again, and today we're looking at the I Series Analyzer versus the IQ Series Analyzer. And what we're talking about today is the maintenance on these instruments and how to do preventive maintenance schedules, uh, how to monitor the maintenance, and how is it done compared to the I Series and the IQ Series instruments. So, for example, on the I Series, I use the Diagnostics menu. If I'm doing maintenance on it and I don't have a station logbook, I don't know when the pump was replaced or the pump repair kit was changed, I'll look at the diagnostics menu and go into voltages, motherboard, interface board, uh, to look at the set points and what they should be on the, on the left and then what they are on the right. If they're pretty close, then I'm, I'm happy with that. Go back and I can go down to interface board, I can look at the set points again and see what they're actually reading on the right and they're within tolerance, so I know these boards are okay. If they weren't okay, I would know that I would need to change the board soon before it fails. I can look at temperatures, internal, chamber, rotor temp. Uh, I can see what they are on the right set points. I can look at pressure. So if I don't know when the last time the pump repair kit was replaced on this unit because there's no log book on maintenance, I pretty much have to watch this pressure and if it's increasing I would know it's a good time to change the, the diaphragm on the pump. Uh, I can also go back and look at flow, sample flow. If the flow is dropping and getting closer and closer to zero, that's a pretty good indication that I should change the pump or the diaphragm in the pump, even though I don't have a, a maintenance log of when it was last done. Lamp intensity, again if uh, we're looking at a good lamp intensity of 91%, but if it's dropping around 70%, 60%, then I know by looking at this menu that it's a good idea to change that, that flash lamp, um, even though I don't know when it was last replaced. So that's how I would watch for maintenance issues on the I-Series analyzer. Now if I go over and look at the IQ-Series analyzer, I can go into the alarms menu, and I can have a button called maintenance. So I can look at this maintenance button, and in here, is preventive maintenance, change part, maintenance history, service tips. There's quite a bit more information to look at in this screen. So if I look at preventive maintenance, I have a list of the parts on my left, PMT, there's a sample pump, ozonator assembly, and I can set the intervals in months that it needs to be changed out. So I change it out every 12 months, every 36 months, every 34 months, and to the right of that, it counts down the months that are left. So it monitors the countdown clock from when you set it on the intervals in the months. And when it reaches zero, it will send out an alert either by the front screen or it will send out an email alert, which I'll show you in a bit. So you can see the different parts that you can change. You can set the interval. You know, if I want it to be a 10 months interval, we'll enter and it will count down for 10 months. I can, I can reset it if I wanted to. I'll commit and just simply set the interval back to, to the beginning again, 36, 36. I can uh, go back a screen, I can go to change part, I can select the part that I want to change, ozonator assembly, go back, select part ozonator assembly, did I fix the part, clean it, so it's either, either new, rebuilt, cleaned, unknown, so I'll say, I can say I cleaned it, go back, so I cleaned it, I can put a comment in here, so you can put a, a text comment in here as to when you did it, what, uh, what day it was done on, you can save that, and then I can commit it, you can save that. And I can show you where that was saved by going back and then going to maintenance history, and I can go in and I can look at my ozonator assembly, um, it was replaced new, the date, and uh, the comment that I made up here, JJJJ, date, rebuilt. So all, you can do that with a lot of the different parts in here, purifill, sample pump, uh, capillaries. So you can have a maintenance history of what was done by the previous person that serviced the instrument. So you can go back. There is service tips. So in here there are step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a leak check, reaction chamber cleaning, 
step forward, a PMT replacement, so I can touch these and then there's instructions on how to do each one of these procedures all the way over to PMT replacement. So it gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it. It also has a pump rebuild video in this button. And when I touch that, the video will start and it's explaining, explaining on this NOx analyzer how to change the pump diaphragm um, using a, a video. So it starts off with a view of the pump left and right. And it will give you some text. You know, some arrow arrows pointing at the different parts of the pump. It will show you the pump repair kits, the part numbers of the repair kits, and recommended tools you need. And then it shows the person actually getting ready to disassemble the head of the pump, making a mark for the orientation of the, the pump head assembly. And then they come up with some tools and show you everything step by step on how to take the screws out from the top of the head of the pump. And we'll speed up the film of the video a little bit. And then uh, they'll actually show you how to take off the top of the pump, lift it off, and they'll show you the diaphragm underneath. So this is a great visual tool to have uh, for maintenance of this instrument. So I can go back, back again, and one more. Okay. This instrument also has a health check. And before looking at that, there's the IQ360, which is a service that Thermal provides where you can have them monitor the instrument 24-7. So they'll, if there's any alarms, they will uh, look at them and contact the operator and uh, work out the issues with them. It also has file sharing and support. And in this screen, you can have a thumb drive put in here on the USB connector and that will light up this button here. You can download the health check of this instrument. Uh, you can have the, all the data with the maintenance, the service checks that I showed you, the uh, alarms menus, everything will be downloaded onto a thumb drive that you can then look at on your laptop. Uh, you can have the email health, you can have the health check emailed to technical support or thermal if you have the instrument connected to the uh, to internet. You can email the health check report to email accounts, which I'll show you in a moment. The IQ alert assistant disabled. Uh, you can have, you have, this is where you would set up the IQ alert assistant, but then there's the mail server setup. Uh, this is where you set up the SMTP, email password, uh, server port. So this is basically where you set up the email uh, configuration on when it has to send out the, the messages. So I can go back to the main screen. So to show you where the email setup is, so I'll go to, I'll go to the home screen, go to settings, and user contact information right here. So you, your information will be put in the top part, but if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there are 10 different email addresses you can put in. So if you want to email that any of the alerts or the health checks to any of these other email addresses that are set up in here, you can do so. And there's up to 10 of them that you can put in. So just going through these few menus shows shows us how much uh, information you can get from the IQ series and how to do preventive maintenance. Uh, going into the maintenance screen, uh, preventive maintenance menu, lots of information in here to help the operator understand the maintenance that was done to the instrument, the interval that it was done, when the part was changed, uh, when the pump failed, service tips, so compared to the I-Series, there's a lot more information available to the operator on how to maintain the instrument and uh, keep parts in stock and when to change the pump diaphragm next, that sort of thing. So that's a lot of information off that IQ series just for maintenance of the instrument compared to the I-Series. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.